guess I'll sit there and I thought I'd film a little bit of stuff on preparation for that. And I've already got uh, about four tablespoons of olive oil and garlic sitting in uh, my so uh, stock pot. And I'm going to do a video on doing your own garlic and oil. It's, it's really easy. Um, but right now I'm blanching tomatoes. You see I've cut the top and the, pot, the bottom off of aroma. I usually do about 25 of these and mix a nice uh, uh, about one or two, uh, about one, oh, about three quarts. How's that? <laughs> anyway, I drop them in boiling water after I cut the top and the bottoms off. I fish them out. Um, when the skin pops like this, you can see the line down the side. This is blanching. And from here, I just take the skin off. Look, it peels off real easy. Whoop, easy peasy. And then I'll just take and cut the rest of the tomato up. You see, I can crush it with my hand right here, or um, I can cut it up and use it just as crush, uh, you know, as uh, uh, stewed tomatoes. But yeah, this works out really good. So yeah, once you, you know, set them in there, for, the tomatoes, once they've been set in there for a couple minutes, you can see this one's popped all over the place. And, uh, and seriously, the skin peels off really easy. I thought this would be harder than this. And then you just toss it over in your compost bin or throw it in the trash there. You just peel that. Be careful, this stuff is really hot. And after I um, peeled the skin off of it, whoo, oh, I lost that one. Disaster. <laughs> Let's try another one. <laughs> I'm about to, it's hard, kind of hard to work with just one hand doing this and trying to show you what I'm doing here. Ah! Hot skin, hot skin. Yeah, let me just move that over to the board. Ah, oh, looks like a tomato murder over here. So yeah, just pinch the skin off. There you go. And then I just cut these in half. And like I said, you can just pick them up with your hand. Once they cool off a little bit, pick them up with your hand. And then just crush them. And then throw them in that garlic and oil. i got to heat that up right now. But um, I kind of let these sit. Uh, you see I've got a uh, colander um, in the bowl there. And that way the, the water just seeps off. I, I want the juices from the tomato themselves. I don't want the water in there. Though it would cook off after a while. So I've got that in there. Let me... Turn this on in the back. I'll turn this on like a, a one step above medium there, and the, the whole thing will take about uh, a little under an hour for my taste. Yeah, and we'll get back to uh, the process here in a minute. I've got to cut up peppers, and I've got to cut up um, an onion, and I've got to dig out some fresh basil and some oregano and a little bit of parsley so an easy way to cut up tomatoes do you have a pastry cutter why not these things are great look you just start doing this with it easy peasy you cut a lot of stuff like this with one of these it's good for lining stuff up too and there's a lot of seeds a lot of juice in this which is that's okay I, I, I leave mine in I'm still learning so Next step goes up into the stock pot and we simmer for 35 40 minutes. You see, I've already got the onions and pepper stirred in. This is approximately 25, uh, 22 to 25 Roma tomatoes. And uh, you see how much it makes. It makes uh, a third of the stock pot. So. Anyway, we'll check back later. This is going to smell the house up really good. I'm going to serve it over spaghetti squash later. Well, I finished boiling up my sauce. You can see it's nice and thick now. It's still a little water. That's okay. It'll just steep really good. And 
I'm gonna let it cool off and then heat it back up again later. I gotta put a spaghetti squash in the oven, but that's how I make my sauce. And I did put, uh, I do, when I um, do the seasoning, I just kind of put a layer of stuff over the top and uh, like basil, and then I put uh, about a half a tablespoon of marjoram, about a teaspoon of rosemary, about two tablespoons of parsley and about a half a teaspoon or half, well, probably a full ta teaspoon of, of oregano in it just salt and pepper to taste and yeah, I put a little thyme in this one too so it turned out really good